Welcome back. This is going to be a really short video. We're going to be configuring encrypted thread analytics on the router that we previously configured for NetFlow. Unlike the actual switch where we had to just do the five tuple record for NetFlow, we don't need to make any changes to the router's uh, configuration for NetFlow. We're just going to be adding a couple different lines of config. Um, with the ISRs and the CSR uh, routers, we are allowed to do encrypted thread analytics if you have the minimum version of code. So it was introduced in 16.6.2, and in my lab you can see here that we're running 16.605. So that shouldn't be a problem to run this. Um, we, and as you see here, we previously configured the, um, the interfaces to send NetFlow to StealthWatch which you can see here. So not a problem as well. So what we're gonna do is uh, just a couple lines of config to, to configure this. It's very similar to the actual switch configuration. We do, once again, we do ET analytics and we configure the flow exporter, which will be the, the IP address of the flow collector and the port for it, which is UDP 2055. I'm gonna do the inactive timeout for 15 seconds. And after that's done, we just go ahead and enable it on the interface. And that's it. Uh, encrypted Threat Analytics is now sending data to StealthWatch and it's pretty easy. It's just a couple extra lines of config on top of the existing NetFlow configuration. Um, thank you for watching this video, and that's, as I said, it was going to be a quick video.